What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Miss Sarah, Miss Zero, and of course, I got that Metal Vinyl Warfighter gameplay for you guys. The underrated first-person shooter game of the year. In my opinion, yes, I'm going to say it is the first-person shooter underrated game of the year, and I'm going to call it. Um, like, like it's a, it kind of actually became like my secret game that I can get away from the other BS and multiplayer games. They, you know, they had set up standards for themselves. You know, this is OP, that is, you know, noobish. You know, Metal Vana Warfighters, there's no such thing as that. You can, you know, I mean, I have heard that, you know, some said the Spec Ops was, was kind of OP. But you know what, at that point, nobody really cared. Um, because those, those crybabies pretty much got off the game. Because, you know, Spec Ops is really not OP. Because I pretty much die a lot when I'm when I'm actually using the Spec Ops play. So, you know what, there you go. <laughs> but um, I'm really, really enjoying playing this game. And um, I'm kind of, you know, praying that the Christmas noobs that has, you know, actually bought this game will get up on board of playing this game as well. Because, you know, I don't want to revert back of having a, a team player that, that, you know, random that doesn't know what they're doing out there. Because, you know, it does happen. Uh, but, you know what, I want to talk about the recent patch that did come out. Um, Danger Close, I'm, I'm actually seeing the, the, the actual tweaks that they actually came with the game. Um, it, the game is a little bit more polished. They have, you know, fixed up the actual um, menu uh, for the game. And, you know, you can kind of navigate it a little bit better. Um, I'm actually, you know, I'm actually kind of sad at the same time that this game could have been a little bit like better prepared coming out if EA just gave the Danger Close the time, which is why I extremely, extremely hate holiday release games. And that's why I praise and love Rockstar as a gaming company, you know, they can care less about Christmas release, which is why Grand Theft Auto 5 is coming out in springtime. They, they want their game to be the best and perfected when it comes out. And that's why I praise and love about Rockstar. You know, and that is why I hate the, the, the actual, that's why I kind of really, really hate to say, that's why I hate the, the phenomenon of what Call of Duty has pretty much done to a lot of these first person shooter games when they do come out, when it comes to the holiday season. It seems like, EA and Activision is out trying to do one another around holiday season. It's really going to affect us players down the road of them butting heads and bringing us games that are half finished. And we have to deal with the half game when it comes out and wait a month or two later for these patches to come out. And I think it's ridiculous in my book. You know, I wish that they will, you know, pretty much forget these holiday releases and just come out with a game in like in springtime or, or the summertime. Why does it all have to come out during holiday re holiday releases? Which is why a lot of these games are not polished the way that it should be um, when it does come out. You know, and I hate that. I hate that. I really, I think um, EA will pretty much, it kind of scares me because I think this is what's going to happen when Battlefield 4 comes out. You know, EA is going to pretty much do the same thing, try to force us with this game coming out and pretty much want to get a half game like, you know, with Battlefield 3. And that's why I still have all these patches and problems with it as well. So I kind of wish that EA gave Danger close to time and needed for this game. And it probably would have been a little bit polished more. And that's why I cannot stand holiday release games. But I'm happy that Danger Close is pretty much not giving up on this game. Um, I, I'm, I'm liking that because, you know, I'm not going to give up on this game. I'm enjoying myself with this game because it's kind of, it's really a balanced game. It really is a balanced game in my opinion. And a lot of people don't see that because not a lot of commentators are actually posting up Metal Vinyl Warfighter like like the, like the a big community is, like Battlefield 3 community or COD community. Uh, but you know, because the Metal Vinyl Warfighter, look at these two butt buddies up here. <laughs> um... Camper Haven right there. If you guys are Christmas news out there, that is a camper uh, camper building right there. You guys are very cautious. That's why I'm always rocking a demolition when I'm going up there. Um, but like I said, um, I'm kind of like, you know, hoping that Danger Close, you know, keeps up, keeps actually up with this game. Bring out the patches because I am. Um, the only pet peeve I actually have with this game is the mics. You know, I can handle the rest that, that can get really, really fixed. But the mics, I really want them to fix that right away so I can, you know, better communicate with my team. I mean, it's not a, you know, a change or breaker for me because I kind of know where I'm going on this, on this game, where I'm, what I'm supposed to do. I'm not running around like an idiot. I'm also using my fire team buddy as well. So I know what I'm doing out here. I just really, really, um, really, really wish that, you know, Danger Close would really start working out 
on the the mics the voip so so we can actually communicate better with the with this actual um with, with our actual teammates in this game all right guys um i just want to say that you know what pick up this game it is actually 30 dollars on gamestop.com i would say if you want to buy this game you want to buy it cheap go on gamestop.com and it will have it for you guys and i also wanted to show my rank right here because i do play this game all right guys i see you guys later Thank you guys as always for watching. If you want to see my last video, just click on the video under where it says last video and next to it is a random video. You won't know what the topic is about unless you click on it. Also follow me on Twitter and also like me on Facebook.